A lot of photography can be spontaneous, but arguably no other genre of photography is more spontaneous than street photography. To a lot of people, it's a scary pursuit, and sometimes it is. You know, that feeling of anxiety, sometimes that never really goes away, no matter how much experience you have doing this. But even still, street photography is actually one of the best ways any beginner photographer can learn photography. And it doesn't have to be scary the first time around. I owe a lot of my personal growth as a photographer to street photography simply because it taught me to pay closer attention to the things happening around me and just making me become an overall better observer. I think at the core of street photography is the ability to notice. Be it patterns, color combinations, interactions you might see, emotions, reflections, shapes, or even feelings. These are all things you might end up noticing when you go out and take photos on the streets. And really the best way to get better at noticing is by doing it consistently. That ability to notice and observe goes a long way as a photographer. And I think you can apply it to really any other genre of photography. That's one of the reasons I think street photography is such an excellent place to start practicing this skill. As I said earlier, street photography is spontaneous and a lot of things can be happening at one time. It can be a little chaotic, but through photography, you make something out of that chaos. The more time you put into it, the more you develop your eye to see certain things. You know, you might find yourself gravitating to certain themes, um, certain subjects, colors, patterns. Eventually that might turn into a photographic style that you further develop, or it could just be something you're experimenting with it's one of the great things about street photography. There aren't many rules and you can really go about it any way you want. And I think that's another reason why it's great for beginner photographers. It's really a playground for you to explore and learn. I don't really know who said this, but I think of this cliche motivational quote regards to photography. And it goes something along the lines of photography is your excuse to see the world. And as hilarious as that might sound, there's a little bit of truth behind it. I quite honestly wouldn't pay as much attention to my environment if it weren't for photography. I wouldn't have the same desire to go down certain streets and see new things if it weren't for photography, but more specifically street photography. You know, I'll see and notice things that my friends and family might not notice. Um, and I think that's a really special trait that we have as photographers. Street photography is full of failure. In fact, most of it is actually you failing all the time. I'd be lucky to come home with a bunch of photos I really liked, um, but that's not really the objective, at least how I see it. If you make that your goal every time you go out and shoot, you'll quickly be frustrated and discouraged. Yes, consistently going out to take photos theoretically raises the chances of you coming across an amazing moment to photograph, but it's really the form of practice of consistently going out and shooting and mostly failing in the process that you learn from. And that's why we do it all the time. It's all in the moments that didn't go your way, the missed photo opportunities, the times where you were too afraid to push yourself to get that photo you wanted. Those are the moments that you grow and learn from. So in a way, street photography teaches you how to fail. Henri Cartier-Bresson famously said, your first 1,000 photos are your worst. And it's worth bringing up this famous quote because it highlights getting better over time and accepting failure and doubt. As a beginner, you can't just expect to head out into the city and take really good photos right away. You know, you just can't expect that. And that's really the case with anything, any skill that you're starting. But certainly is the case with street photography. Street photography teaches you how to fail, but also how to keep moving despite of it, and to be less afraid of it the next time it happens. I feel like these things could just be applied to any part of life, but uh, it certainly can be applied to other genres 
other forms of photography you might be more focused on. You know, things aren't always going to go as planned, but you learn to move on. If you're a beginner doing this, you'll likely feel out of place. You'll feel out of your comfort zone, and that's a good thing. Uh, that's where you learn and grow when you are uncomfortable. I've been doing this for a while now, and I still at times feel out of place, but that's fine. That's when growth happens. I want to take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace, who I think a lot of photographers can find the value in. I've been using them for my own website for more than five years now, and it's really become a central part of how I run my business. You can use their wide range of templates to easily make a photogenic website, but there's plenty of other customization to make it uniquely your own. And that's pretty much what I did with my own website. Not only is my Squarespace website a place for my favorite images, it's also a place where I run my e-commerce business, where I sell digital products such as Lightroom presets, and just recently, digital camera guides. Squarespace's e-commerce tools make it really easy for me to manage all of this, and it's honestly really helped support me as a photographer. Squarespace really pays for itself, so if this all sounds interesting to you, you can visit squarespace.com slash and use the code Faisal to get 10% off your first purchase. When you're a beginner photographer, there's a good chance you've got a new camera and you're trying to get better at using it. Street photography is honestly one of the best ways to get out there and start using your camera and putting it to work. Yeah, you could watch a ton of YouTube videos, buy some camera guides, including mine, <laughs> um, but that only takes you so far. The real work in you know learning your camera is by actually using it, by bringing it out into the streets and, you know, figuring out the, the kinks and the ins and outs of it and you know setting it up in a way that works for how you shoot you know when i first started uh, taking photography seriously i did a lot of street photography and that's really how i learned photography i mean i didn't really know what i was doing half the time but the point is i was out there and learning each and every day and i think this is really the biggest reason for any beginner to pick up street photography when they first start out it's going to get you to bring your camera with you more often than not and that's going to lead you to taking more photos when you're a beginner the point isn't to create a gallery worth of amazing photos the point is to learn through trial and error and street photography is one of the best ways to do that you know the more days you go out and shoot with your camera you're going to learn you know the basics the fundamentals to the exposure triangle the different metering modes and you know when, when to use each one for certain lighting situations you might come to learn how much of an impact the focal length of the lens you're using um, how much of an impact that has on how you visualize photos and as I said earlier, you're going to naturally learn to get better at noticing things as a photographer. You know, there is a side of photography that's very uh, controlled. It's in a controlled setting, a studio space, right? Street photography is really the opposite of that. It's an uncontrolled environment. Anything can really happen, you know? An old man with a parrot could walk down the street and start dancing. A protest could be happening a block away from you that you just randomly walked into. It could be a really cool building that you never really walked and explored because you never really had a reason to, but now you do because you are learning photography by doing street photography. I think there's something every photographer can learn and take away from shooting in this type of environment and you can take it to really any genre of photography that interests you. At the end of the day, street photography is gonna get you out there with your camera taking photos. And that's really how you learn.